So what I want to demo here is how potentially I could use Screencastify to record a lesson and push it out to my kids. What I have here is my PowerPoint, my presentation, ready to go, that I want to use to talk to my kids. Here's a piece of paper here that I have my bullet points down, the things I really want to address. So when I'm ready to go, I look in the upper right hand corner and click Screencastify and click Record. It's on my desktop, so I want to make sure I just select my primary desktop here. And now it is recording. So this is where I would go and click present. Then it'd talk about like this week we're gonna do photography meets blogger. So we're gonna do a little picture taking and a little bit of writing about it. Then maybe I'd talk about the flow of like, this is how I want every day to go. You're gonna be taking a picture, posting it to your blog, writing a little bit about it and sharing it with me. And it could be like through email, Canvas, Google Classroom, doesn't really matter. Then I would present them with, now here's the flow I want you to do this week. Uh, of course, it could just be day one. And then they would be able to see these things. Then I would talk about like today is day one. We're going to be taking um, some sort of self-portrait. But the whole purpose is you have to be able to take a picture of yourself without showing your face. Then you could even go in here and um, give some examples of what could be. And then here, maybe this is where I'm going to jump off the presentation and go into actually how to write your blog post, and then how to share that link through an email. So that's maybe where I would leave the presentation, go to blog, and then show them that you just click new post, make sure you title it, say day one self-portrait. Show them how to link in my picture here, how to write, how to publish, and then view, get the link, and then email it. All of that took two minutes or less. Screencastify limits you to five minutes at a time. And so maybe that's where you need to chunk a lesson up into small increments of time versus recording something that is, say, 15 or 20 minutes long. Because at home, I'm not sure every kid is going to watch a 15 or 20 minute presentation. Once you stop recording, this screen, this tab should pop up. But just remember, in the upper right-hand corner, you have copy shareable link. So now it is copied to the clipboard. This is where I could paste it into it, that link into an email, could put it into Canvas, or if you use Google Classroom, just click this, and it zips it right over to Google Classroom.